So, um, at, at this point, not too difficult, right? You learned one command, and all you need to pay attention to is which view you're in when you use it. Um, the next step, pretty much the same thing, except we're going to add two components. We're going to add a clipping plane, which allows us to see a cut through the model. And then we're going to also add um, the section command. So the section is basically going to take a datum line through the model and it'll uh, cut any or it'll create a line at the intersection of any plane that you have in the model that intersects your model, I guess. It's, it's a confusing way of explaining it. But when I, uh, when I show you, you'll understand. So um, let's first start with the clipping plane, right? So you, you've seen it before. I used it just as a visibility exercise for you. And you'll notice that I have this thing called clips here on my layers. I'll turn that on real quick. And, uh, huh? Yeah, we'll make it. I'll, I'll, we'll get there. I'm just explaining it. I'm prefacing. All right. So um, the clipping plane, or yeah, the clipping plane, it looks like this, right? It's a little uh, box with an X and it has a line. So that line is a signifier of which side of that plane is actually going to be an active visible model. So it lives right now, if you look at it in the back view, I'm going to switch it back to the front view. I'm going to switch this back to the right view. Um, if you look at it, it actually lives just a little bit inside my exterior wall. And I did that so that in perspective, and you'll remember this now, um, I can turn this on and you'll see into the model. The model still lives. It hasn't actually physically been deleted. It's just a visibility exercise for you to be able to see inside. And so we can use this as a datum line to actually create and cut a view that is a section. And it's very, very simple. So um, since I already happen to be here, that's the section I'm going to take. And that happens to be my right view. So see the direction of the stairs are going down to the left. Here in perspective, the direction is going down to the left. So let's, let's actually create a clipping plane. So I'm going to get rid of this one and start from the beginning. So you notice, obviously, I created a clips layer. Feel free to do so. Um, or just put it on some kind of construction layer or negative layer, whatever you want. Um, on the clip layer, I pick the view that I'm going to want to cut in. Okay, so I, um, for me, I'm doing the right side view. So I'm going to type in the command. It's just clipping plane. Not that hard. So clipping plane, um, I can activate the clips layer. And here's the key about clipping planes. You can draw them on the model, but they're going to cut across the entirety of your digital space. So if I draw a little box out here to the right, it still cuts my model. Um, but notice that when I drew it out there to the right, here in the top view, it put it right on the, the Y axis. That's because that's my working plane in that view. So um, at that point, with Gumball on, um, you can actually just slide it back and forth and you see mine is showing me changes. That's because the visibility settings are here under properties. So when you have it selected, go into properties, which is this little rainbow wheel. And this is the first time I'm going through this menu with you. There's a lot to know, um, but the most important thing to know right now is that you know, you've got all of your clipping clipping plane properties here, we're not going to modify them. You don't need to for most applications. What we do need to modify is this particular button. It's called clipping plane. That's for all of the feature specific settings. So when you go into that, this is what it looks like. You've got a button that says flip direction. You've got views clipped. And then you've got the perspective top 
front and right view. So these checkboxes will tell you um, which of the views I want to see my model cut in. So notice right now that I have right checked on and in the right view I can see into my box but in perspective view it's still solid there's no cut so that's because of the setting here if I wanted to see it cut in perspective all I have to do is turn this checkbox on and I can turn them all on and I'll see the cut in every single one of my views so now as I pull it back and forth you see it's changing the whole model doesn't matter what size it is it could be microscopic I suggest you do something that you know has some kind of scale applicability um, to your model so that when you're looking at the full thing you can kind of see where it is in space okay so um, now let's get on to what are we going to do with this um, we need to take a make 2d of the backdrop information and then we need to also take a make 2d of the section cut so notice here in the right view where it's cut is really thick that's significant because that's a drawing convention that we as designers and architects also utilize to show that this surface is being cut when it has a very thick line and you can see it you know, in any view, any view of a drawing of a building, this happens to be uh, cut and pochet, so it has some significant prominence to it. Um, let's see. So this one is a good example because it's non pochet but everywhere that it's cut, it has a very thick line. So you know precisely where all the openings are. It's a little bit harder to see on the projector, but here, that line work is lighter. So that means that there's an opening there and it's only being cut there. Making sense now? So um, long story short, here in Rhino, our objective is to, and this part is no different. We need to get a make 2D of the background information. So we just go into the right view and we do a make 2D. I have a habit of doing that. Make 2D. And you can select all the objects in that view. But notice here, I made a mistake. So in the right view, I did a left to right select. When I did that, it did not select all of the objects in the view. So why is that? Right. Yeah, you're mostly right. Yes. Yeah. So the two of you definitely got it. You need to do a right to left select because when you're doing left to right, it only selects objects that are fully encompassed in that selection box. But even though it's fully encompassed here in this view, half of it is cut off. So technically it's missing and is not part of the selection. So it can't be selected that way. So when you do this, you go right to left and select it that way and now it's all there. So I hit enter. Um, I want this all to go on object. And I don't, for this one, I do not want hidden lines. There are not going to be any hidden lines in this drawing. And then you hit okay. And you'll notice that it shows up here in the top view. I'll pull this off to the side, and I'm going to also put it down one level. So notice here that it, I didn't set a new layer for it, but um, it actually took all of the line work that was being clipped and set it to a different layer. 
And that's significant because when we export it out into AutoCAD, having it on a separate layer is extremely useful. So I will show you the manual way of getting a cut. If you don't want to use clipping planes, um, what you would do, and this is kind of the old school way before clipping planes were really um, prominent, but you add a cut plane. You technically don't have to do a cut plane. But you select the object, hit enter, and you would um, draw a plane across the model like that. And then you would do the section command. And you select all of the objects that you want to cut a section of, hit enter, and then you go from one point of the cut, the cut plane to the other, and it produces that line work, which coincidentally, after you do a make 2D, is exactly the same as this line work. Right, so the make 2D command is already a step ahead of you, and it's making your life far more simple. So let me go back real quick because we don't really need that stuff. But um, that process gets incredibly more simple because now all I have to do is just slide this thing across to, say, that location. And now I can select this model again, do a make, two, make 2D, same settings. My clipping planes are going onto the clipping planes layer. Hit OK. And now I can slide this one out pull it down, and I've got two building sections already ready to go. So, what questions do you have? I sort of monologued for a bit there, um, but I didn't introduce much. I showed you a clipping plane, and then we did a make 2D. That's about it. So if there are no questions, then I'm going to release you guys to take two building sections, and then we'll move on to doing a plan. Clipping plane? What about it? I showed it. Yeah. So I'll go over it. I'll go over it again. Flip direction. So when you go back, yeah, that's a good question. So if you need to uh, switch the direction of the cut. You select the clipping plane here, and in the properties menu, remember if it's here, then you're on the object tab. And if you want to switch its properties for a clipping plane, you go over here to clipping plane, and you flip direction, and it goes to the other side. And also, something to be aware of, guys. As Oh, yeah, you need to check on perspective if you wanted to cut there. I'll come check it out. So uh, the other thing to be aware of, guys, is uh, if you notice here, um, I had this flipped the other way, and you can't see any of the line work in my uh, perspective view. That's because it doesn't just clip your model. It clips all drawn objects in the model. So you just need to be aware of how you're using them and where, because too many means you're not going to see anything. OK, so um, I'm releasing you guys to do that then, and uh, I'll be around to address your individual questions.